This is Coffee Country and Cody. Cody. I don't know, you walk in this studio and it's Friday morning, weekend ahead. How has the week treated you, huh? Not good, but that's okay. Uh, how about, well, I got a cure. <laughs> I was just thinking there about that. There is a cure, a known cure. He is not a medical doctor. All right, please know that. But he has found the cure for Friday. Oh. Dr. Robert Earl Keene is here ah, for a little yeah. Western chill yes. all over yourself, Kelly Sutton. Mm -hmm. Did you just say Western chill all over yourself? <laughs> <laughs> a little, uh, I was not prepared for that. A little spray and wash gets that yeah, out really it's clean. Fine. Rub it in, so. rub it in. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, That's great. Who, uh, who's saying, How's the world treating you? How's the world treating you? It's like an old classic. Like, uh, Lumen Brothers. Okay. Chris Isaac covered it too and did a beautiful yep. job oh. of it. But uh, yeah. So, Charlie well, we would point have. out if Charlie Lumen were still around that. Uh, he and Ira did that first. Uh, well, who, Charlie would who, be outside smoking, yes, so he would not have true. heard what I just said. But, <laughs> but, but, yeah. Who is this Chris Isaac? Yeah. <laughs> That's a Lubin Brothers song. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys who could smoke and make everybody want to smoke. Oh, <laughs> you watch Charlie Lubin smoke. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, that looks so enticing. Yeah. He looks cool. <laughs> just made it look really cool. Hey, coming up, entertainment headlines. A lot of things happening Friday. Friday is when all the news comes out, so we now know who will be headlining the Nashville New Year's Eve show. We got that coming up last night. Keith Urban, he decided to <laughs> throw a party. Hey, you got an invite. Did you go? I did. No. I couldn't go. You did get an invite, but you did not I, go. I did get an invite. Oh. Take that, Keith Urban. Well, you I, know, the crazy thing I, is they didn't tell me where it was going to happen, and they just said, hey, it's going to be at 9 o'clock, and I was like, <laughs> do you know where we work? Do you know what time we get up? Mama I is out. You. Oh. Well, and, and Reese was actually uh, dancing last night at a football game. The, the dance team is there, so I wanted to see her, and I was like, yeah. I put family first, so I'm not going to be able to make it. Should have brought then, the dance team to the Keith Urban show. They would have fit right in. Yeah, buddy. They would have fit right in. So we'll tell you all about that. It was a big to-do, big spectacle. And John Party has a new album. We don't know anything about it, um, but we'd like to tease you. So stay tuned for that. Kelly Sutton, good morning again. Good morning. I know it's hard to think about New Year's Eve because here we sit in the middle of September. Well, could, but I, could I just get to uh, Sunday and fall at 7.44 a.m. officially arrives? Well, once it's fall, we're already at Christmas, which means Happy New Year. <laughs> That's how it rolls. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even, I it didn't, moved quite that fast. I but. didn't get my turkey for Thanksgiving. No, no. I didn't get my skip pumpkin over. pie. Okay. Skip ahead. Right. Skip ahead. All right. <laughs> We're talking New Year's Eve. If you need to make plans, we want to make sure that you have plenty of time to do it. And we are telling you, you need to come to Nashville. So Nashville New Year's Eve, the Big Bash is going to be happening again this year. It's going to be on CBS again. It's like five hours, guys. It's crazy. Now, they start taping this a couple of weeks before. I hope I'm not destroying the magic for anybody it's not all live but they tape it around different locations and they have host and this year your host will be kane brown and jelly roll how fun i mean those two are gonna have you know kane is real like calm and chill and jelly isn't so the two of them together i think is going to be a nice yin and yang it's going to be a lot of fun to watch if you want to be here in person you can get tickets they do all kinds of packages we drop the note that's what we have here. You know, a lot of places do ball drop, peach drop in Atlanta. We mm -hmm. do a note and it will be dropping December 31st. So uh, come and hang out with us here in Nashville if you want to be a part of it. Oh, is my memory bad? Did we not used to drop a guitar? And now they changed to the I note. I think you're right, I think Charlie. you are right. <laughs> I, yeah. In I think the day, right. and you and I have both been in this town, yeah. well, Kelly as well, but yeah. you longer than I have. You came in what, 90? 90. 90. In 90? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember the guitar. I've been a part of the New Year's Eve for like 10 years now. So it must, it would have been like more than 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I could see that. And that was when it was still downtown. Right. We did it for downtown yeah. for a mm -hmm. long time. So if you want to be here, though, it's the note and get mm -hmm. your tickets early. Right. Speaking of downtown, who mm -hmm. took over yesterday? Oh, Keith Urban. <laughs> so this is fun. How Keith come Urban. you didn't go? I thought you got an invite. It was too late. If you got an invite to something that said surprise show, we can't tell you where it is or when it starts, just RSVP, would you do it? If you knew it was Keith Urban. Well, not having received said invite, uh, I really can't put myself in that position. So, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave right now. There you go. That's great. That's good. <laughs> I I said yes, but then when I found out it was going to be on the same night as my daughter's football game, like she's a dance 
dancer on the sideline at the football game, I was like, I can't be there. But then I also found out that it was going to start at 9 p.m. And I was like, Work. well, <laughs> we're out. We can't. You could go to the game uh-huh. and take your daughter and her dance troupe to the no. Keith Urban show. I'm sure the one thing that he's thought through the years that's missing is I need I need a dance troupe on stage. He probably oh, I need would have. I need dancers. It probably could have happened. So last night, Broadway, <laughs> downtown, Keith Urban, a couple hours before, says, surprise, everybody come on down. I'm releasing my new album, High. Our own Aaron Cooper went and got some video. Here's what I love about Keith. He does a pop-up show. Uh, probably 100,000 people just flood the streets downtown. It was incredible. But also, it's just him and a guitar. Now, he had the band come out later to join him, but the fact that he can entertain people with just a guitar is pretty special. Wardrobe is not something that takes him much time. He loves um, (laughs) T-shirts. He loves old T-shirts. We had this chat last week. I said, man, you've got some really cool vintage T-shirts. And he said, yeah, that's what I look for. When I go into a different city, I will go look for vintage T-shirts. So the new album is high. It's out right now. Now, here's the problem. He started this album in like 2021. It was going to be called 615. He got most of it finished and then he listened to it and he was like, nope, this is not it. Scrapped the entire album, started over. Here's what he had to say about it. That album that I loved messed up as me, Daytona, Heart Like a Hometown, and a song called Break the Chain. So those four songs were on that record. I took those with me and basically started again writing and recording and that took another year and a half. More coffee, country, and Cody is on WSM. And Melissa Carper. <laughs> Melissa. I like that sound effect you gave that me there, nice. man. That was nice. I want to use that on my next album. Hey, Melissa Carper it. is truly a wonder woman of country, Kelly Sutton, as she join. visits us in studio. Born Ninja is her new work, and we're going to hear music from that here in just a little bit. But first of all, Welcome to Coffee Country and Cody and to the stage of the Grand Ole Opry tomorrow is a Wonder Woman of Country in your trio. Yeah, thank you, Bill. I'm so excited to be back and excited to be back in here with you, too. Well, this is Americana Fest, the celebration. Of course, we have the award show in the middle of the week at Americana Fest uh, has 200, more than 240 acts oh. over the course of the days. Uh, this started on the 17th. It'll run through tomorrow, the 21st. And uh, Charlie, didn't you ask her about a trifecta a little bit ago? Uh, uh, Melissa's doing a gospel brunch uh, tomorrow, then an Acme feed show, and then we'll scurry to the Grand Ole Opry. So it's a tri- <laughs> it is a triple. <laughs> I, I said, "Are you doing good?" You see, yeah, I'm doing good. I said, "Are you too busy sometimes?" And the answer was, "Yeah, this may be one of those weeks." Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But well, it, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. having a great time. I heard you with Elizabeth Cook uh, down at Roberts Western World yesterday, and uh, when she teased ahead that Melissa was coming, she said, <laughs> she got that big old bass, which also, in case of an emergency, a flood emergency, doubles as a canoe. And <laughs> if I were in a flood in a canoe, I would want Melissa Carper to be in charge of the canoe. <laughs> uh, she, does, she doesn't know that I, I usually dump canoes. <laughs> Tell us about your fiddle playing guest this morning, if you will. Yeah, would. I've got Katie Shore with me on fiddle today. Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, we're we came from Austin, Texas, and uh, yeah, we've been on tour actually touring the Midwest, so we're coming off a tour in, in into Nashville. Yeah. You said this is your second time playing the Opry. That's Do you right. remember much about your debut? Because it does kind of just, it's such a whirlwind. There's so much going on. Yeah, it does seem a little bit of a blur, but it, it was very magical. It, it was amazing. Yeah. Was there anything special you did that day That in getting ready for the Opry that night? Mm. Well, you know, I had a lot of great friends come to town and support me, and I think that was the most special thing. Lots of family and friends, so they were kind of around me all day long, and it was really sweet. Well, your introduction, I thought, was really quite good that night. Who did that? That's right. For the podium, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, I had a lot of compliments. Thank you, yeah. (laughs) I'm so humble, I would have pointed that out myself. (laughs) Thank you. Modesty (laughs) becomes you. (laughs) So, uh, is your family still in North Platte in Nebraska? They're not in North Platte anymore. I have some family in Omaha, Nebraska, in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, St. Louis. 
But yeah, nobody's over in North Platte. I haven't made it back there in a long time. Yeah. What, what, do you still consider that home, your hometown, or where mm, would you consider I home? I would consider home? Arkansas home because oh. I, I spent almost 20 years there after moving out of Nebraska. And most of my friends, you know, and uh, people I've known a long time live, live there. Eureka Springs, Arkansas is where I lived quite a bit. Yeah. Born to Inya. Give us the backstory on that album title, and we're going to feature a song from it called There Will Be Another One coming up. Yeah, so um, that song, Born Didn't You, was inspired by uh, watching Down From The Mountain documentary. And there was a Ralph Stanley interview on there where he said, I don't think you can get this sound unless it's born, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And Melissa Carper had an album title. <laughs> That's right. So upbeat and positive for a couple of people going down the hill. <laughs> Andrea Zahn, John Cowan, the Herculeons are in the house on Coffee Country. <laughs> We're cruising Cowan. down the hill. <laughs> I hean, really thought about that. Wow. You know, as we sit here in the <laughs> ACUF, oh, the ACUF yeah, living room, our new studio down. home, uh, one of Roy's phrases was when things were going well, I'd say, Mr. Acuff, how you doing? He'd say, downhill and shady. <laughs> no, I was like that phrase. Nice. That is terrific. Yeah. And both yeah. of you uh, have great stories about Roy Acuff as we oh. get started with this interview segment. And you're at Americana Fest tomorrow night, 3rd and Lindsley at 8 o'clock. Uh, and today you can join John and his co-author, Jimmy Schwartz. They've got a conversation, got to sit down to talk about John's new memoir called Hold to a Dream. A New Grass Odyssey. Mm -hmm. So uh, your ACUF story about the reuniting of New Grass. All right, so a lot of people, especially around the Grandmasters Fiddle Contest, know Charlie Bush, who's Sam Bush's dad. Charlie was a fiddler, and of course that's, Sam grew up with fiddling. And so when we reformed the Re New Grass Revival in 1980 with Pat Flynn and Bela Fleck and Sam and myself, the first show we did was uh, at this club downtown, well, it's almost downtown, it was called um, Cantrell's at the time. It was a rock club. It was just all the walls were painted black. It was kind of <laughs> nasty. But the celebrities in attendance that night were, believe it or not, Roy Acuff, Charlie Bush, and Leon Russell. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Great story. Oh, and Andrea, <laughs> you with Vince Gill on the oh. stage of the Grand Ole Opry, you were telling the sweetest. Oh, Both Kelly and I were over here tearing up. Oh, he was the sweetest. When I'd go play with Vince, this was probably 1990, 91, he would just come stand next to me and hold my hand and put his face right next to mine as we were singing. He was the sweetest. It was the sweetest. Oh. Yeah, every and time. They said you know, his eyesight. His eyesight was end. not yeah. was not the best at that point. But he was, you know, but he always and, and you know Vince's song Liza Jane is the same title as an old fiddle tune. And so Roy would say, You gonna do that Liza Jane? <laughs> Vince would say, Yes, sir, but it's a slightly different Liza Jane. You know? <laughs> So let's talk about the birth of uh, the Herculeons for people who may just be getting to know you uh, and, and the all-star cast of musicians that join you. We do have a Well, this cast. came about during the pandemic as, we, as most of us, uh, actually all of us, were kind of trying to figure out what to do with our time and our lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, Andre and I, had, we've known each other forever. We've done millions of sessions together as vocalists. And we hadn't seen each other in a long time. And we, somebody hired us to work on this record. And... A lot of times you go work as a vocalist, background vocalist, you go do two or three songs. Well, this thing was like 11 songs long. <laughs> it was a marathon. So we literally spent the whole day and evening together, and we hadn't <laughs> seen each other. And on the way home that night, I picked up the phone to call her and tell her how much I enjoyed it, and she was just dialing me at the same time. Just to say the same thing. It was just, well, it's one of, singing with him is one of my favorite things. And he was, you know, just how much we love each other as friends. And, and we were like, we have to do something. We have to do something. And the pandemic had just started. So we decided to put this little band together and mm -hmm. do Facebook live concerts. So that is how we started it. Yeah. And yeah. how did you come with a name? Well, the name is as a result of I was talking because we had all these young hotshot bluegrass guys playing with us. <laughs> and I was commenting to someone that their talents were Herculean. And then I thought, <laughs> wait a minute. Herculeon, as in Leon Russell. So that's how the name was born. It's the Herculeons. A lot of heavy lifting. And who, by name, are the hot shots that join you guys on any given night? Well, oh, well. Well, we've kind of, everything has, it's, it's not quite traditional bluegrass anymore. It's kind of, we've rocked out a little bit as it evolved and as we kind of really developed the idea. But right now we've got Andy Peake playing drums. We've got Jody Nardone 
playing uh, keyboards. keyboards. We've got Paul Kramer playing uh, utilities, playing mandolin and acoustic guitar. And for this particular show, we've got our very dear friend and special guest, Will McFarlane, coming up from Muscle Shoals to play electric guitar. Ooh, and this that'll is, be uh, nice. Tomorrow at 3rd and Lindsley, showtime is 8 o'clock. That. So when you're working on new stuff, what is the driving sound? You were trying to say the Herculean sound is... It's our, our two voices to me. Mm-hmm. So we either write songs or, fi- or find songs, like the, the one you just played. We yeah. did not write that. Um, it was written by uh, Phil Solemn uh, from the band, the, the, Re- the Rembrandts, excuse me. Oh, really? The Rembrandts? Yeah, who I love. Did Great they, duo. Didn't a band they do... That was, um, they the, theme did the theme song from Friends. Yes. The, and the yes. soundtrack from Dumb Very and Dumb. Good. Okay, yeah, when you said that, I'm like, wait, I know that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's so fantastic. The, the, everything is a, revolves around us singing together. Oh. And we have a real love of songs, too, and song craft. And so we're just drawn to, it could be from a number of genres. I mean, the, the, the birth is pretty wide. Well, here's something I read. So. They blend Appalachian, soul, rock, and jazz nice. to create a unique blend of Americana music. That's it, yes. That's it. <laughs> a unique blend. What a yes. recipe. Blend. It's like you're a coffee. <laughs> yeah. oh. Curated. Single origin, please. <laughs> this is only the highest quality. Organic, so. yeah. purely organic. Yeah. As Bill Monroe said about new grass once, oh yes, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> And, and real quick, last time you both joined us, you were both getting ready to be really crazy busy. Andre, you were getting ready and, for a bunch of James Taylor dates. And we have been, yeah. I think each of us have been around the world, but at separate times and in different directions. Uh, <laughs> we never since meet we saw out you last. there somehow. Somehow. What we need, is, you know, James and Doobie should tour together, yeah, that, and that, that would, would make mm-hmm. all of our lives that would cure many things. so much yeah. easier. Well, and John, but, you were getting set for Manchester, England, right? Yeah. yeah that we, and the uh, Doobies and the Eagles, right? Right. My real job is I play bass and sing in the Doobie Brothers. Um, and we had just, we were, when I saw you all last, we were just getting ready to go to England and to uh, Holland to play a bunch of package shows with the Eagles. So I got to see Vince. We always get together and to tell jokes. That's basically what we do backstage. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell the Pete Best story, though. The Pete, now, Pete Best was the original drummer in the Beatles. He was replaced by Ringo Starr, but he's kind of a legendary person. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when we were in Manchester, it turns out that Pete Best lives there. And somehow, Pat, Patrick Simmons, Pat Simmons from the Doobies, we all took a trip to, li- to Liverpool to do our om- homage to the Beatles headquarters, you know. And so I, we all went separately doing different things, took the train down to Liverpool from Manchester. And the next day, Pat Simmons says, look at this picture I have. And, I, and it's a guy mowing his lawn. I'm like, well, who's that? And he goes, it's Pete Best. <laughs> And he invited Pete out to the show that night, and he got up on stage with us and played tambourine. <laughs> Life on the road with the Herculeons, collectively and individually. Andrea Zahn, John Cowan, thank you both. Love you. Oh, thank you so Love much you for having us. And, uh, Good to see you guys, and welcome to your new home. This yeah. is Congratulations. Great. Thank you. Tomorrow night there at 3rd and Lindsley, this is uh, an 8 o'clock start time. Today at 2 o'clock, John and his co-author Jimmy Schwartz, John's new memoir, Holden to a Dream, a new grass odyssey and we close be at the embassy suites on demonria thank you oh. You're welcome. i didn't give the location thank you for following up on that